Hello and welcome to the last and f- last last and final final and last episode of Game Dev Tycoon. At least of Immortal. Uh, post release analysis of immortalization is complete. We got the following results. That's great. Ain't nobody cares. Immortalization did great. Immortal One is coming out soon. It's fantastic. Everything is fantastic. All right, send that vacation. I send you on vacation. I send you on vacation. And we're gonna make you do some research. Make you do some training. There you go. And then we'll make one final game. Hopefully, Immortal 1 will be out by then. Yeah, screw it. Just come on. Let's pick up the pace here. I'm really sick of waiting. Immortalization is now off the market. It's sold 9 million units, generating 132 million in sales. Okay, we're gonna have all of year 35. Come on, Immortal 1. Mbox 1 will be taken off the market in two months, just in time for the release of Immortal 1. Immortal 1, Immortal has released their game console, Immortal 1, today. The console does not seem quite on par with high-tech competitors, but we'll see what players think. Looking at the features of Immortal 1, it seems that the list is extensive, which is a good sign to be the variety of games being available. Excellent run for decades without issues. Your very own consoles on the market. Game consoles are complex machines when you sell a lot of them, and it's only natural that some of them need to be repaired. While your console is on sale, your hardware team will work off maintenance points. Depending on the quality of the console and how many you sell, these points vary from week to week. Try and give your hardware lab enough budget so they stay on top of the maintenance, otherwise customers will become unhappy. You have to wait too long for their consoles to be repaired. You can see how well your team is doing on the console information guard at the top left of the screen. Fantastic. Look at that. All right. You guys trained up. Our console is fantastic. It's selling fantastically, too. Which is great. All right. Should we end with a sequel? I think we should. We should end with Republic Rep Oblix 5. Let's do it. Rep of fix five. Return of president. Uh, no, let's go. Let's go with this. Oh, come on. I'm just. I'm just of the presidents. Yeah. That'll make it for our console. For the PC. And the GER pad. I don't even care. With the immortal engine. Do this. Mbox One is no longer supported, but the Immortal One is. All right, load it up. Let's go. Republics Five: Return of the Presidents, and they are tired. Go, go. Go. We're getting a backlog already. Ah, we're keeping up with it, which is important. I did give him a massive budget. Alright. 
Immortal 1 is still being sold. I don't know if it ever... Okay. I don't know if it ever ends. When you stop selling them. Uh... Certainly our best selling item. I'm throwing in their boosts. Graphics are important, boil design is not, sound is as well. Boost. Dude, this is the best game that we've ever made. I forgot to hype this thing completely. It's fine. Special awards ceremony. That's the end of the game. The game ends at the end of this year. Yeah, let's wait for G3 and then we'll release it. Immortal Republics 5 Return of the Presidents With our own console, the Immortal One. 1,700,000 1, people visiting the booth this year. Let's go. New record for both. Level ups, I don't even care anymore. Let's release this puppy. And you could do AAA games, of course. But it's not gonna happen. First reviews, come on. Let's do it. 10, my new favorite. 10, awesome. 10, outstanding achievement, come on. No! You've got to be kidding me. 9.75. The highest we'll ever get. And there it is. Republics 5. Ranked number one in the charts. With our popular engine, the Im our popular console, the Immortal 1. Is amazing. Well, this is where I start to say my goodbyes. This has been a fantastic series. I'm glad I at least got to do some of the stuff that I wanted to do, which was uh, making my own console, even though it was really late in the game. The financial situation we had for the longest time. I at least got to do some of the stuff that I set out to do, and that was make a game console, make half a billion dollars. Look at that. That's fantastic. And the Immortal One is still selling. That's cool. That is just so cool. I think that's the... Oh man. I'm going to be playing this still. If you guys want me to do another playthrough, I'm more than not, I more than welcome that idea. I will do another one because it is fantastic. A while from now, though, but I will 
I am offering right now to do another one because it's just a great game. Recommend playing it to everyone. And, uh, yeah. Republic 5. Return of the Presidents is now off the market. It sold nine th close to 9,000 units, generating $125,511,143 in sales. We've had a great run. This might actually get completed. No. Hey, it did. MMO games. You can make MMO games. There you go. But we're not going to. Because it's too late. It is now over. A worldwide game developer skills has awarded CPU Nerd, CEO of Immortal, the Lifetime Achievement Award for contributions to the game industry. CPU Nerd has, during a stunning 35 year career at Immortal, delivered many groundbreaking games. The company is most recently known for Immortalization. They're also known for their console, Immortal One, which has done very well in the market. Congratulations, you have finished Game Dev Tycoon. You will now calculate your final score and show you some statistics. You may keep continue playing after that. Most expensive, Republic's Five. Most profitable, Immortalization. Least profitable, How to Be a Pirate. Most used topic, sci-fi. Most used genre, simulation. Research topics, 48. Total research completed, 42. Design points generated, 52,059. Analogy points, 56,078. Small games, 48. Medium games, 6. Large games, 7. AA games, 0. Good games, 15. Top hits, 15. Publishers used, 1. Self-published games, 60. Bestseller, Immortalization. Fans, 8, 825,000. Cash, 3.36 million. Custom consoles, 1. Immortal. We did it. That's a big score. 51 million points. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um... I will more than I am more than welcome to do another series of this. Uh, please comment and like if you would like another series. Uh, that might be a little while from now. I need to do something else. But um, yeah, it's a crowning achievement. We are the champions, and uh, thanks so much. Congratulations on finishing Game Dev Tycoon and for playing. If you enjoyed our little game, then please consider telling your friends about it. I'm doing that right now. If you wish to continue playing, but please note that there will be no more platform releases or other story elements. Okay, guys. This is the end. By Martin. By Benjamin. By Eric. By Mick. By Gage. By Ben Silverman. By myself. See you next time. Or at least another game, I should say. Bye.